Hey everyone, I'm Jen. It's, uh, I don't know, like nine o'clock. What time is it? Almost nine at night. And I just spent half a day with my best friend, Denise. And um, uh, she's shifted into a different her. And I knew that a couple days ago. It's just, um, it's still her. But, you know, different. Those of us in the Mandela Effect. Hey, party party. Those of us in the Mandela Effect community, we're, uh, we've experienced uh, seemingly being in a different world with different people, different props, <laughs> you know. Um, and so my friend is different. Um, it's still her. It's still Denise Incorporated. Um the way she talks is different. She has a different way of talking. Anyhow, um, I knew that a few days ago. It's just, uh, I got to be with this version today. And uh, I'm a little sad because I missed that version. The other one, but this one's here too. And she does not have all the... Uh, carry on she does not have all the information she had from the other self denise i know you're watching this most likely um so the carry-on bags that you are allowed to bring the carry-on bags of information of memories from before um you have but um there were some things um like uh you honestly did not know I was an event organizer, and we've talked about it before. Um, there were different stories associated with before, and so that was new to you. Um, these two birds are playing with each other. Hey, birdie birdies. I don't know if you can see. I never remember seeing robins at night, but uh, they were usually there in the morning getting the worms. Early bird gets the worm. Anyhow, that part's different. Um, Denise, also, you forgot, or you, this version had not experienced the uh, Mohawk Man story. You've heard that one probably a couple times. And um, this was a story, for those of you who don't know, I went, um, when I was ready to be homeless in 2013, um, the only person, even though I was an event organizer and there were 300 people in my organization, um, and not that 300 people, uh, attended each time. Um, it could be as little as just a handful of us to dozens of us, but, um, um, it's like my birth family, my during marriage family, and then my event uh, organizer group family it, it affected no one that I was going to be homeless and this one man that I helped give a ride to um who turned out he was a homeless man um he was going to give me a place to be and it was a little uh little teeny weeny RV and then scared Jen was like uh he's just being creepy about it but then he's like I hope you don't mind but my girlfriend's uh lives with me so we would have the bed you would have the floor and I was just like nobody else even offered me their floor and uh here he was offering me the floor but before all that um I had driven by him and I got the prompt to pick him up. He did have a red uh, can, a uh, gasoline can. And I, I don't know, I usually do argue or definitely ask for more confirmations to when I'm prompted to help someone. So I said, I need to see a vehicle that is without gas and um so i turn this is on a highway and i turn around the uh there's just more birds playing around the bend there was a uh camper bus so i this was up in the appalachian mountains so i go past the camper bus go to the next exit turn around and you know it's a long up there 
and you don't know, but it's it's long, um, a lot of miles between exits. So then I looped around, stopped, found him, and um, and said, "Hey, you know, are, are you okay? You need a ride, or what can I do?" And that's when I noticed that the gas can is a red sleeping bag. Now, since then, I've dealt with a lot of morphings, and yes, my face. Um, there's something. I don't know if it's too much sun, but I definitely have uh, raised redness to it today. But anyhow, um, it was a sleeping bag or sleeping roll mat thing that was red instead of the gas can. So, um, you know, in my other videos, I've talked about uh, things morphing, including people in front of me. So now it's not weird, but back then it was weird. Anyhow, um, I gave him a ride and during that ride, uh, information poured out of me and he's like, how'd you know? And I was just like, I don't know how this works, but, uh, sometimes, um, the sixth sense stuff works through me. So, um, everything I was saying was true for him and, and I, I had to pull over. It was getting, um, very intense, um, in a good way. And, uh, I, um, Anyhow, I, I don't know what I said, but he's like, yep. And then he showed, he was taking his boot off to show me and um, how he had um, toes shot off. And I did not want him to take his <laughs> shoes and socks off. So when he, after he took the shoe off, I grabbed his foot and uh, the white sock. And I don't know, that just brought us even closer. So, um, oh, my hair just scared me. Um, I thought it was a bug because there was a daddy long leg here the other day. Anyhow, um, what happened was I was in the middle of talking how I could, it's like I was going inside his skin. Sounds kind of gross, but, um, it was like magnified, magnified. And I could see like the muscle inside his skin and um before you knew it I was looking at little pockets and the little pockets had coal in it which okay just so you know woo woo talks to me in language I can understand um so coal is Santa's coal is bad and then he misunderstood what I was saying and he's like yeah I've been to the penitentiary I don't know how to say that word um multiple times and I'm like no 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 anyhow it's funny I only heard uh that word being used in uh, Johnny Cash songs. But I said, I said, no, you've been through a lot and those were not good experiences and they're in you now and, and you haven't let them go and they're like eating away at you and there were little pockets full of that. So I forget the order of things, but when I pulled over these three tall angels. Later when I was telling the story, this uh, person working at the mattress, once I found a place to live, I shared this story and the mattress place um, was run by a church. So it was the pastor's wife that was there and she immediately cited, oh my gosh, you saw such and such um, angels. So I, I don't, I didn't grow up with the Bible, so I don't know, but it's the tall tall angels and they were they were not on the floor of course we're in our car but I saw him standing and it's getting hot in the car I saw him standing and the three of them surrounded him and they were tall enough um, above him and below him and then they spread their wings so he was like, um, and I remember telling him this, you're like a, a vertical hot dog and you're being, you're being surrounded by them. Um, and, and I had always wanted a hot dog bun to be longer than the, than the, um, that's probably why they used that example. He was enveloped. So he was the hot dog. They were the bun and they enveloped him. He, they were longer, taller and below him lower and so he was fully enveloped and oh my gosh the, like the, the electricity in the car we were in such a a holy bubble and 
he was crying and he was saying, I love you, I love you, looking at me. And of course, it's just the two of us in the car, but I knew exactly what it meant because it's such a love fest when these happen. And all those um, coals, not all, I wish they were all, but many of those pieces of coals in those, many of those pockets, and I could hear them, ding! And like fireworks, they were little uh, glittery. Um, they they turned. It's like they something went in there, and then ding, 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 and 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 fireworks would come out of it, it's like sparkler fireworks, and then um, the coal turned to uh, to diamonds. So they didn't do all of them. But when they were done, they were done. And he's like, where'd they go? Or where'd it go? I don't know if they said if he said it or they. But he knew it was over with. I knew it was over with. And then he was just sitting. And in fact, it's this car. And he was just sitting here next to me. And he was so sad. But we, were, we both of us were talking. Because both of us were front row to this uh, miracle well in the miracle and uh but then he got sad and and then he got big-eyed and the adult him was like I wasn't telling you I love you you know I'm like I know <laughs> we were just uh, love was everywhere it was that kind of love not in love and then but he was sad because it was over and and that's when this one f uh feather oh lights are trying to come on uh, street lamps but there was this one feather I had found a year or two before and I remember going to my mama Pete in the nursing home saying there's something about this feather what is it and she had a lot of woo woo stuff she, and herself and she was uh, mostly blind at that point and she was just holding and touching very gently the feather stroking it she said it's a very important feather you need to keep it with you and you'll know who it's for whom it's for uh, when it's time. So for a year or two, I kept it in my car at the corner of the uh, front right dashboard uh, tucked into the uh, front windshield. And uh, when this um, this man, by the way, he had a straw cowboy hat, so I, I call him cowboy. So cowboy, um, when he was all sad, like a little boy, um, I said, oh, go grab that feather, because I knew immediately that was for him. I said, now, this is not one of the, the their feathers, but it's a remembrance of this experience you've had. And he took off his straw hat. It was just sort of slow motion. He took off his straw hat, and then it was a shaved head except for a mohawk <laughs> underneath, which was quite unexpected. And he very gently took the feather and thread the base of it uh, into his hat. And then he quietly put the hat back on his, on his head. And he was happy because he had a memory of what we just experienced. And um, that's the person. Well, during dinner, because I treated him, I asked him if he wouldn't mind keeping me company um, while I ate at Waffle House. And I told him in exchange, he could have anything. And uh, he's the only one who had offered me a place during my uh, homeless thing. I ended up finding a home, but um, government funded housing. But uh, anyhow, Denise, I've already shared that story with you. And tonight you it was all new to you again. So last night when the sun set uh, in the location where the sun rises, I knew I was in a different place again. And I don't know what else is different. I just know that I'm weary, as you can tell from a couple, the last couple videos. Um, but I'm okay. Because it's stories like this. Uh, may they please happen more. I love everyone who's listening and everyone who's not. I just, um, I'm okay. No matter which reality I find myself in, 
I'm good. Now I'm going to go walk inside and give my Nelson Kitty a big fat hug. And for those of you who uh, held my hand during this latest bridge, um, thank you. You're right. This too shall pass past. <laughs> I love you. Good night.